Big shout out to Bean Working Espresso down in Skyring Terrace, Newstead. Best Hook, coffee in the game. Best absolute coffee in the game. Hooking the platform podcast and any listeners up with a 10% discount. Shout out. Shout out to Yol- Yolanda. Yolanda. That was a mouthful. Their coffee's real fucking good. Get best it. coffee in the game by far. Just opened up Skyring Terrace. You can order ahead and mention the platform podcast for a 10% discount. Be bad and Brandon. Oh, here we go. Pressure moment. This is sick. This is a platform exclusive. Yeah, <laughs> freestyle. It's so much. You know what? Our listeners. Right. What, I am what, do you want? what do you want? Oh, like 90 BPMs. Hit me. Like, Old school. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Uh, fans getting bigger now, banging strippers now, and she twerking on my dick till my dick go blow. Tango ran chronic, yeah, I'm fucked up now. Snoop Doggy Dog, I got the speakers like bow. Going out the night, yeah, dick tight, pussy right, fucking nanny now. Now she getting down, might. Uh, yeah, Batman with a plan, run up on a motherfucking brother, cause I can. Whoa, hold up, go slow mo, fuck that gun, full speed, fifth gear, bro, I'm a GTI, stay in your eye, motherfucker, I'm going out. All night and I, yeah, and a motherfucking take flight. Damn right, fuck it till that pussy yank tight. Right, uh. Oh, that was bomb. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> oh shit. That was um okay. You recorded all that, right? Yeah. Well, it's crazy. There you go. I don't know. Hey, Greatest please. intro ever. I feel oh, like freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I really like I mean this podcast Can't get any better We might as well Cancel it now Yeah, fuck Might as well done. just stop it You're yeah. done <laughs> Wow so And now Everyone would have heard that And that Incredible freestyle rap mm. I'm not what? responsible For the shit I say When I freestyle Because I don't know What I just said FYI <laughs> It was brilliant <laughs> Like so yeah You're an undergrad Obviously your name's Aaron Yeah How do you pronounce Your last name Vibert Oh Yeah Vibert. French what or some thinking? shit Vibret it's like Brett. Hey, I, I can roll with that <laughs> for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> so now to start the podcast yeah. properly, we have a big question. <laughs> yep. big. Can you can you wrap the 21 words? What's yeah, there we go. Whoa, hang on. 21 oh. words, who you are and what you do. Yeah. Wrapped. Wrapped. You got 21, though. <sighs> 21 words. Yeah, that's it. Everyone gets it. Okay, I'll give it a go. I've got to wrap it in 21 words. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm good to go. Are you ready? Fuck your talents. I'll try. <laughs> That's all we do. Who I am, what I do. Yeah, who you are and what you do. All right. <clears throat> all right. Yo, hey. Somni, a.k.a. Aaron on the beat. Physiotherapist, yeah, but I ski. Hey, yeah. Survicogenic headaches, my jam. Fuck that, though. Man. I don't know. That was still really cool. Yeah. It was, I don't know, that was definitely more than 21, but I don't even... Yeah, sorry. I, was like, I think it came sorry. in at 21. <laughs> <laughs> we counted uh, them up. I may have forgotten to count, because I was just like, <laughs> who can do that? How do you just like... Uh, so how did you get into like the freestyle rap? Because uh, like you rap under like underground, and my hands are doing air quotations for people. Well, who, I'd like to be underground. underground. That's the plan, but... Above the ground. Yeah, I'd like to be above the ground. It's, yeah. it's better but there. It's not, it's not good enough, apparently. <laughs> I feel like you are. Yeah, you need luck, though. Jeremy, you can have all the talent in the world, but you need someone to find you. You need also luck. You can work your ass off, which I do, mm. but unless someone finds you or a record label picks you up, you're never going to get anywhere, really. And the hip-hop scene in Australia, Brisbane, is not that big either. Mm. So, yeah, maybe one day. That's the plan. How, how did it all begin? Uh, and I've always done it from a young age. Like I've always been into hip-hop music, I've Dark Pass, all that type of stuff. And it helped me. Eminem literally saved my life. Like when I was real dark and depressed and suicidal, all that type of stuff. Yeah. I would listen to that and that would want me to like live. Yeah. So I used to write music just to myself, rap by myself. Didn't really tell, tell anyone about it. And then like maybe five years ago, I was just freestyling when I was drunk. And the dude was like, fuck, like you can rap. I was like, yeah. He's like, when you do it, I was like, well, I will. He goes, I bet you won't. I went, but then I just started doing then it. Then you did. It's kind of a, like, you can't do that type of thing. And I was like, well, yes, I can. don't tell me what I can't do. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because obviously, like, your lyrics, they're not, like, the modern-day politically correct. Nah. But I think that's why it makes it so interesting, because you're actually rapping from mm. your own experiences. Well, that's what music Maybe should be. Maybe not that yeah. intro. <laughs> 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 Thinking about some of those lyrics, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's like, is that is that where you draw a lot of your inf- inspiration yeah. from? A lot of it is from my past. That's what music is, is expression of self. Yep. Sometimes you go along with it, like say murdering people or whatever you're saying and as a joking term in, in a rap just to yeah, enhance yeah, yeah. your lyrics. But yeah, the basis of it is all just what I've experienced and stuff that I'm going through. Yep. And also what other people might, might be going through or what I see around. And that's what I rap about. That's sick, man. Other, other songs, I make party songs as well just for fun because it's just fun to rap about drinking and partying and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But that's also been a big part of my life as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of true. Yeah. <laughs> so do you perform, have a chance to perform much? Yeah, I performed in like January or February at Tomcap yep. in the Valley before COVID. Yep. Um, I want to do more and more shows. That's the plan. Yep. But obviously COVID's kind of fucked all our lives up. Fucking COVID. Yeah, fuck <laughs> COVID. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when that comes back in, I want to try and perform more and more. Like yep. I'd love to be on stage weekly. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be really cool. So hopefully one day. Yep. Mm. Yeah, sweet. And then, okay, how did you get into physiotherapy? Well, you, everyone knows Paul. Yeah, so, so you, you work at Start Training, which yeah, yeah, then Paul's a frequent flyer here. Yeah, absolute legend. He he was he. Um, I did a PT course. I wanted to be a personal trainer. Yep. He was my lecturer, right? Oh. So he gave me a job at Inspire. Yep. With him, I worked with him for about a year and a half. I just got more and more into rehab and actually got good at it. Mm. And he was like, "Oh, like, why don't you do this as a job?" Or like, get into physio. I was like, "I'm too stupid." I, mean, I dropped out of school. Yep. Like dyslexic, all that type of stuff. Yep. I was like, I'm not, I can't do that. What is it with you people that start training and being dyslexic? Well, it's just a... Why is that like a prerequisite? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why we all get on, I think. Yeah. We understand. We all understand, we all understand yeah. the written words. That's exactly. why, yeah, you, you, Johnny, Paul, you can all understand each other. Exactly. It's a dyslexic connection. <laughs> Unreal. Spiritual. And then <laughs> after, after he spoke to you, then it was like, fuck it, let's do it. Oh, I just gave it a go. And then a lot of people said, you can't do this. Like, you're, you're our dumbest mate or whatever. Because yeah. I act the fool. I act the fool a lot, but um, I'm quite you know smart. things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of did it. Even my parents, like, you can't do this. Like, come off it. You dropped out of school. So I was like, nah, I'm doing it. And then I just pushed through out of pure, like, because people told me I couldn't do it. Yep. <laughs> Six years later, did a master's. Fuck oh. everyone. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> so you're a master of physio? Yeah, master's of physio, yeah. Holy fuck. Wow. Yeah. Mm. That's insane. Now, um, just since we're, you know, you have this... I guess, uh, pattern of people telling you can't do things and then you do it, you can't do powerlifting. You shouldn't do powerlifting. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it. shit at it. You definitely should oh. and couldn't. And you would hate doing equip lifting. Yeah, you couldn't you'd be put on a squat miserable suit at, like, and knee wraps. You couldn't. In a you squat suit. You couldn't rap, do it. No, you couldn't. Suit. Don't even worry oh, about it. Bro. Don't even bother, bro. Oh. Don't even try. Yeah. It's not for you. So we'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> see you on Wednesday. <clears throat> Just trying to drop new, new clients, hey? <laughs> no, no, no. You're in now. I mean, I mean, I reckon we give it a like, couple of days and then we'll click over in his head and he'll be like, no, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. So Just squat all night. Who do you work with with physio stuff? Is there a, a kind of client that you love to try and look after or what's your lane? Yeah. Headaches and migraines is my big thing. Yep. Um, just because I've had headaches my whole life. I've got a lot of whiplash injuries now. Yep. Uh, a lot of headaches can actually be helped, especially office workers, bad posture, all that type of stuff. So, so many people walk around with headaches all day when you just do a couple of neck mobs and stuff like that, and it helps them out. Yep. So, I just, because I've experienced, until I met Paul, no one really could help me. Yep. So, since he's helped me, helped me, my life is so much better. It's not in pain all the time. Yep. So, I just want to help other people in that. You know, yeah. in that manner. So that's mainly my thing. So it's a bit of a weird wow. one. Because yours, mm. you, you're sorry if, if I'm wrong here, but mm. your headache started when from birth. Birth, yeah. So basically, they didn't figure it out until I was 15 years of age. I had chronic migraines, bad headaches. I had a headache every day until I was like 15. So, <laughs> yeah. so that was the normal. <laughs> well, that was the normal, yeah. I remember the day where I didn't have a headache because they, re- they realized my whole jaw took a year and that fixed it. But... They couldn't figure it out for years and years. Doctors said, you know, he's, there's nothing wrong with him. He's making it up. He's crazy. All that type of stuff. So I went through the whole childhood thinking I was nuts. Fuck. People, yeah, teachers, everyone didn't believe me. My parents were the only ones who believed it. Because yeah. they were like, why does he vomit? And they're like, he's yeah. been doing this since he was a toddler. And they're like, he's mentally unwell. And they were like, but how could he be mentally unwell if he couldn't even talk yet? Like he was spewing. He was always pointing at his head. Yeah. Like from that young an age. Like you, wow. you just don't make those things up. And they're like, yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with him. So that's, I went to a, yeah. It's like torture. Yeah, so I thought, you know, you get told that by medical professionals and you're like, what, why the hell am I doing this to myself? So I thought I was absolutely nuts for years. And then one dude figured it out and he's like, yeah, we need to realign your jaw. That will help your cerebral spinal fluid flow and that will fix your migraines. And he did that and it fixed it. How did, oh. like, how did this doctor, or, was it a doctor or a chiro? He was, or? He was an orth- um, orthodontic chiropractor. Oh. And a lot of his work, yeah, a lot of his work was like, 
this isn't a thing, like research, there was no research on it. So people were like, that's not going to work type of thing. Yep. But like at that point, we had tried everything over years and years and it herbal, like naturopaths, every single thing, masseuses, dry needling, whatever, candles, meditation, everything. Mm. Um, nothing worked. And then, yeah, a friend just recommended and we went and then he figured it out. Wow. Yeah. And a lot of people, even now, like I talk to doctors about it and they don't believe me. They're like, that's not a thing. I'm like, well, fuck it is, mate. 100%. <laughs> it is, mate. Don't even, do you know what I mean? Because it winds me up. Like, yeah, as like, a medic, that's got to put your, you know, especially mm. as a young kid. Yeah. Like, fuck. It's being mm. told you're crazy by like a professional. And again, oh, you'd sorry, start, mate. for the listeners, <laughs> yeah, well, I did believe it. air quoted professionals. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the thing is like doctors and stuff, if they can't figure it out, it's not them, it's you. So yeah. something wrong, like you're making it up or there's something that, you know. But especially when it comes to things body-wise, I found, like, yeah. you know, they just don't have... I always thought they had the answers as well until I met people in different fields of like yeah. physio, ex-phys, chiros and things like yeah, that. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, you really don't know shit. <laughs> like, which is, you know, obviously if it's something more serious, they fucking know it, but... Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to, like, as mm. you said, the body itself, the skeletal system, the muscular mm. system, they've got no idea. Oh, 100%, yeah. Which is weird when, like, you know, you hear people, you know, we get all the time clients like, oh, I've got this sore something and I went to the doctor. I'm like, why the fuck did you go to a doctor? Yeah. There are these other practitioners and way they more did, experience yeah. and, like, and specialises yeah. in that. Yeah. Because now you obviously specialise in neck mm. shit. Exactly. Which is probably not the right terminology. Yeah. But neck shit. Put that on your neck shit. <laughs> and how does it hold up these days? My neck? Yeah. It's pretty bad. I've got to get like, treatment all the time. Yep. Which is, Paul helps me a lot with that. Yep. But yeah, it's just keeping on top of it. Yep. Like posh is a big thing, but no, nah, it's not. Yeah. I still get a lot of headaches, but. Yep. And, but that's now from. <laughs> Boxing. That's from uh, a lot of whiplash injuries. I was a motocross <laughs> racer and I was a boxer. So I didn't pick the two best sports. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Migraines. <laughs> Granted, but it was a lot of fun at the time. Yeah. But I'm paying for it now. <laughs> How old are you, dude? 31. Are you still riding bikes for boxing? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, I spar a little bit at, at work, but yep. I, don't, I don't fight like I was. With the hole? Yeah, sometimes. Paul punches me in the head. <laughs> my, my boss beats me up when I've been naughty. Just <laughs> for the record. <laughs> Not in a good way. It's not enjoyable. Like, you wouldn't pay for it. That's when you know you fucked up. Yeah, that's like, when, Let's yeah. do sparring this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, no. He just walks in the G-string and headgear. That's <laughs> G-string. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Fucking uh, best. Do you see many people now for the next stuff? Is like, have you zoned yeah, in on that? Or is it that's just yeah. your lane? Oh, it's, it's where I want to go, but a lot of people, I'm seeing more and more people with those issues now. Yeah. Obviously, because I can relate. I get it. I've had treatment for years on myself, so I know what works, what doesn't. Because mm. that's the best way to learn is by doing something yourself. Yeah. If you've had something you tread or you've trained people like you have, or you train, you kind of know and you learn from that. You can empathize with the person. You can empathize and then you know also, and then you're also interested in it. Yeah. Mm. It's a thing, yeah. But, yeah. And do you, do you hear that story often, similar to yours? Like, oh, I've seen all these people and... They've said it was this, they've said yeah. it's that, but none of that shit's fucking working. Yeah, neurologists. Yep. And there is pri like primary headaches as well. You can't really do anything about that. That's like medication route. But the thing is with secondary headaches, which is yep. caused by like neck or something, yep. they make primary headaches worse. Uh -huh. So if you're like really tight and you're getting these headaches and then you get migraines from it, yep. you know, you, you'll reduce the amount of primary headaches you get, but you can't actually fix that primary migraine or headache. Yep. But you'll reduce the amount that you get yeah. by fixing the neck. But it doesn't work for everyone. Like, but the only way to find out if you treat someone yep. that don't get better is pr a primary thing, and that's like neurology and that type of thing where we, we can't help. We can't fix yep. everyone. It's mm. if it's coming from the neck yeah, yeah, that yeah, we yeah. can help. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sweet. Do you get people coming to you who have gone, like what Johnny was saying, you know, they've seen all these other people, mm. but they're almost like on the fence about coming to see you 100%, as yeah. a physio? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, they have the belief that... Well, people think it's, it's like, like surgeons, doctors, and then physios like the pond scum down the bottom. So they think if the doctors and surgeons... <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the doctors and surgeons can't help them, then what are we going to do? Because we don't know as much as them. Yeah. They are kind of like the hierarchy. Mm. Yeah. So you get a bit of that, but it's trust. Like, once you, like, fix someone to help them, then they trust you. And, yeah. and if you're referred, like, a friend's gone, oh, I'll go see Aaron, you know, he helped me, he might be able to help you, then that's fine. But if they don't know you, they're, like, a bit sceptical, which is fair enough. But, yeah, hundred percent. Mm. But it's like, obviously, if someone's coming from a friend, they're a bit more yeah open to it because everyone trusts their friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, medical professionals. Yeah, hundred percent. So, how long have you been studying for for this? Six years, you said. Yeah, it took me six years because I did an undergrad in exercise science and the masters in physio. 
because I couldn't go straight into an undergraduate physics because I didn't finish school. Oh. So right. I had to do, yeah. So your ex science background. Ex science, so then masters in physio, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. So you're a little bit of everything. Then. Yeah, jack of all trades. Yeah, sick. Mm. But I used to be a chippy by trade. So that was Dude, how the fuck have you fit everything of everything you've just said into 31 years of existence? ADHD, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and, an, and insomnia it fucking helps. <laughs> I, need to, I need to do things. Yeah, I need to do things. <laughs> Otherwise, oh, I crumble. So you're a chippy by trade. Yeah. Fucking hell. I can work a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you can box the shit out of someone and ride the crap out of a motorbike as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is one of the Anything most... Anything else? <laughs> well, that's about it, really. And a fucking ninja of the rap. Nin- yeah, and I rap. I wish I could sing. I had to settle for rap. <laughs> death. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I'm still shocked. I'm like... you got more experience in a world, like different worlds than more people get in fucking a lifetime. Just about keeping busy mm-hmm. and not whinging about it. Are you looking for more education? Like... To, Would you go down that path for, I don't no, know, whatever else? I'm done there, for a few years. That yeah. master's killed me. I was over it. I was done. I'm happy. I learn a lot with, like, Paul teaches me a lot. Yeah. And we do upskilling each week. I'm always learning. Yeah, cool. And researching stuff through yeah. work. But at the moment, I'm just kind of doing that. Yeah. Just yeah, happy to that. just, like, kind of put the brakes on yeah, that and put just the brakes enjoy. On. Yeah, enjoy my life for a bit. Yeah. Get my life back. Yeah, sweet. Become more into the rap. Yeah, rap a lot. Perform. It takes a lot of my time. Yeah, fuck mm-hmm. yeah. Have you ever had much experience in the strength training? Like, sort of laying a bit closer to what we do, I guess? Not, not that much. Like, I've yeah. trained a bit. Obviously, I train a lot. Yeah. I've just, I just lifted weights. Yeah. But I'm not into, like, I've never lifted, like, big weights or got into it. Because mainly because anyway. I'm a tiny, tiny human being. Yeah. Not like you blokes. <laughs> oh, we all started tiny as well. Mm. You yeah, the height on you. I'm, I'm, currently, the I'm actually currently still tiny. <laughs> Correct. And yeah. also am I. Yeah, I know. We're not big enough. And <laughs> we never will be. <laughs> We've crossed over. <laughs> it's true. You reckon? Yeah. Fuck no. We're definitely crossed over. <laughs> crossed over. I'm definitely like, what? what? You seem to lift more weight. This is what I'm hearing. 100, yeah. He, What's big enough? I see. This is, that's why we can't have the conversation in front of Johnny. <laughs> I will be very, very happy and content once I get to about 120 to 125. Mm. That's my goal weight. Yeah. Ish, yeah. Compete at 125, be like 130. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is why I can't have that conversation in front of him. So what are you now? 108. 108? Yeah. Nice. So it's like, what, 32 to go? That's 140. Yeah. Small KFC, bro. <laughs> bro, don't even give me that. I would, like, if I didn't have gut issues, that's where I'd be every day. Shout out to my boy, Kooky Thor, who loves it. Yeah. I love KFC. Love KFC. Like, legitimately love it. It is, honestly, that's the only, there's, I believe there's only three ways to eat chicken. It's either KFC, uh, wrapped in prosciutto or bacon. Yeah. And I can't even remember the last one. Crumbed. Crumbed. Crumbed chicken is amazing, yeah. Mm. It is But like, good. outside of that, I really don't enjoy chicken. Don't. No, it's shit. Really? It tastes like shit. <laughs> it's fucking peasant chicken meat. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like, I think it's also because, you know, like you understand yourself, you know, when you know a lot about something, you just mm. become too much into it and... I don't know, I just like the, the um, mineral profile in red meats just a lot higher. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't it taste better. Taste better. It does taste better. Agreed. Mm. Fucking mm. oath, it does. Like, I'm going for a steak tonight. All this talk. Are you having steak tonight? I think so. After this talk. Oh, I was going to say because we yeah. didn't get invited. Yeah, well, you come. <coughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So, what's the underground rap scene like in Brisbane? In Brisbane, we uh, did th- digress a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've gone off a little bit. Yeah. yeah what is it like? I don't know. A lot of like. A lot of artists is very competitive. Yeah. So like, in my experience, a lot of artists either don't like you or don't like each other, and they want to be better than you. Oh. So it's like it's not very Everyone's team. Kind of yeah. To get each other. Kind of yeah. Stuff. Kind of like no one really wants to collab. We like reach out to people, and it's like, oh yeah, bro, or kind of whatever. So yeah. it's like kind of like everyone's like a lone wolf, mm. um, which sucks because I'm a bit of like hard. I like to hang out with people. They're like, you know. Yeah, you're very you're very much like let's get around this. Yeah, let's just get around this collab. Let's have some fun. Let's spit some raps or whatever. But you reach out, like, out to people and they're just not interested, and they're just yeah, like, right. oh no, nah, like I want to be better than you type of thing. But yeah, so that's yeah, the scene's not exactly that big, but yep, yeah. But there is there's opportunities to perform and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, floating around. I wish there was more like live music. Even live like live music in general. There's not that many. It's all DJs and stuff now. Yeah. yeah. It's, like there's not. Yeah. People don't want to see a live band anymore or yep. listen to hip hop. They're not interested. They just want to 
get smashed and dance around like a bassoon, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but do you... Like, <laughs> yes, do. <laughs> do you think... Like, I guess, listening to you rap then, like mm. and we were talking about before, like, it's very raw and honest rap. Like, it's not yeah. fucking... It's not politically correct. And, like, that kind of... Yeah, it's hard. You get judged. I, I get hate mail all the time. Really? Ooh, oh, nice. all the time. Like what? All the time. Like, I'll just get, like, you're a bad person or, like, oh, really? something like that. Or, like, how can you say that? Like, you're a disgusting human being or something like that. And you're like, fuck off, mate. You don't know me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What? But like, I'm telling it, the truth. Yeah, but, like, that's the thing. It's, you know, I feel those people, you know, get off your fucking high horse. Like, you, then no one's perfect. Like, as you said before, you've, yeah. you've had a dark past. And yeah. Like, we've all done shit we're not proud of. Like, 100%. Like, I've, you know, been in worlds where I've fucking had to sell drugs and yeah. all that shit. And it's just like, doesn't make me a bad person. Yeah, my choice at that time yeah. was not the best. First to admit it. Yeah, exactly. But, and as you said, music's an expression of self. Mm. And it's an expression of, you know, experience. And yeah. Like, I'm more inclined to go listen to something like that mm. than some fucking... Mumble rap. Yeah, just like, making words on. up to try and be popular. What's that? Listening to someone just trying to make words up to try and be popular. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's boring. Yeah, hundred <clears throat> percent. But it's just like a, yeah, I don't know. I. That's one of the reasons why I got into it because I was sick of it. I was like, all this rap is just trash. So yeah. like all this new school stuff. Yeah. Like as it's play, it's like I, I listen to some of it and like partying to it. But like mm. I'd prefer meaningful like hip hop, mm. old school '90s style. That's that's what I make. I'm mm. trying to bring it back a bit. But if it's not popular, it's not popular. Yeah. But I just make what I want to make for myself. Mm-hmm. And if I blow up and get bigger, then that's good. But I've made music that's for me or, and for people to listen to that's meaningful to me. Yeah. That's We're what music should be, expression of self. Yeah. On the flip side thing. of that, you get a lot of hate mail, but do you get a lot of people reach out and be like, fuck, I can relate to that? Yeah, that, that, and that's what you do it for as well. Like You get people who might be like, hey, I was suicidal at the moment. I listened yeah. to your song and it helped me through this dark past. And that's why I make music as well. Because like, Brain Damage by Eminem, I was very suicidal as a kid. I tried to take my life a few times. Um, that song would stop me from committing suicide. So I'd put that on. That was one of the only reasons that I didn't kill myself that day. Yeah. That's one song. So like I got older and I want to do that for people. Yeah. I do a lot of stuff on Instagram with people. I try and help people who are depressed and in bad times. Yeah, I, yeah. Just, I just chat to them. Because sometimes you just need someone to talk to when 100%. you're really low. And sometimes, and it, a lot of the time it's not anyone close to you. Mm. You don't want to tell your family or your friends about it because it's just morbid. Yeah. And you can't, and then you feel like you're getting it judged or they don't really respond well to it. So, mm. you know, I'll chat to random people and, then, and that helps them and that, you know, keeps them living. That's what I want to do. That's a fucking job done. Yeah. Like he, that's a, that's it's a, a pretty good achievement. Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah. So that, that stuff is rewarding. Yeah. But yeah, not everyone sees music like that. They just see it as, like, oh, this is bad. You shouldn't say this or that's fucked. But I think that comes from the, like, as, mm. obviously you've gone through shit. Yeah, you know, you've taken your own life, and I've mm. been in those situations where yeah. I want to take my own life. But yeah. you only get that sort of vision and perspective going through that shit. Yeah, once you've and been then there. once you come out of it, you're kind of like, I can understand that. You know, if you see some dickhead being a fucking dickhead, you're like, he's on his own journey. I don't need to judge that cunt. Yeah, exactly. But everyone's so quick to judge because it's like, mm. I don't know. I just feel like some people really, they just haven't faced their own shit. Yeah, and that's when I find you get the hate mail. Oh, 100 percent. Like, you know, I. And fucking <laughs> sometimes I can be very unpolitically or impolitically not politically <laughs> correct whatever the fucking term is and it's just like yeah but mm. I'm cool with a lot of things yeah like I'm I'm very open I'm very honest and if people want to talk about it like yeah sick yeah. I'm not going to judge you just because you made a wrong choice yeah exactly who the fuck am I to judge I've exactly. fucked up more than anyone yeah so where do you put a lot of your stuff out like, um, do you Music? put a, yeah? Do you put a lot of it uh, through Instagram? Just put freestyle yeah, it, stuff up. Or? Yeah, Instagram. I pump my Instagram. I work hard on Instagram. Yep. Um, Spotify, YouTube, yep. Apple Music, out, all, all streaming platforms. Yes, yeah, sweet. So yeah, but Instagram's like the main one. Yep. But yeah, a lot of Instagram, I got to like censor or they'll ban and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, really? I was gonna say, how do you get away with? Yeah, well, my freestyle raps that I promote, I've got to take all the swearing out. It's just a nightmare. It doesn't sound as good, and people would judge that. You're like. I think version. I would judge you more if you took the swearing out. Yeah, exactly. It's trash. It doesn't flow as good. <laughs> yeah. oh, you kind of you mean to like think a bit more about the words. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, I've got to think. Fuck. I've got to, need to think. Yeah. So social media your biggest avenue or do you just... Yeah, the social media is what I work on the most because that's kind of what you have to do to get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I figure that's, you know, the be- like, best way to make it is social media these days. Yeah, it sucks. Like, I hate being on Instagram all the time, but I am. It's part of the Because game. I'm trying to, yeah, trying to build up 
and that's just the best way to promote yourself. Mm. Otherwise, you just no one like can find your hit like hear you. But it's a lot of work, and you got to be on the, like, the stories every day. You got to reply to like fans and stuff like that. Yep. all the time as well. You just got to be there every day. Otherwise, people get bored of you and they'll just unfollow or yeah, whatever. It's not the really, it's not like the old days when you, you'd answer fan mail and it'd take a while. It's now like instantly, Instant, yeah, like reply to me. Yeah, yeah. What like everyone's very needy and stuff like that, which is all right. But and then, and like back in the day, you play more live music and more shows, and you get bigger that way. Mm. Yeah. But there's just not the venues and the space to do it now. Mm. And it's, and it's just not that as popular, so you can't. It's like, do you find because of what you rap about, you're like more disadvantaged in getting live shows, or is it just like a completely different scene? Yeah, or like underground, they don't really care. Yeah. Like unless it's something like really bad, like I don't like racism and stuff like that, then you probably yeah, hundred percent. But that's like that's just being a dick, basically. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that stuff's bad. But um, no, I think underground hip hop's fine. I think. Yeah. It's, yeah. What, can I like sorry, just. For a bit more clarity, what the fuck is underground hip hop? Underground, they're under the ground. Yeah, no one knows you yet, kind of thing. <clears throat> Johnny, get out. <laughs> You're not mainstream. <laughs> You're not. Uh... Like it's kind of like rapping about like dark things, sex, drugs, whatever, and no one knows you yet. Like Eminem was underground, and now he's way above the yeah, ground. He's on the ground. He's famous now. Yeah, <laughs> above the ground. He's above the ground. Yeah, yeah. He's on top of the world. Yeah, he's on top of the world. It's on the moon, mate. He's NASA. Do you know what I mean? I hundred percent. You make one more. Maybe like, he's on the moon. Maybe you make. That's it. You're off the podcast. <laughs> one more dad joke. <laughs> I got so many more. Just keep Sorry. pumping them. Keep pumping them. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, it's two v one here. I think it is. Yeah. You've also like. <laughs> but okay. I love it. Do you? Okay, switching Ooh. lanes a little bit. Yeah. Still on topic, but. Do you find your the image you portray as an mm. underground rap artist? Do you find it goes against the physio world? Hundred percent. I've got to be yeah. careful with that. A lot of people like will message me and say, "You can't say this. You can't do this because you're a physio." I don't agree. <laughs> I'm just. I don't. I don't hurt anybody. You can actually yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I can do what I want. Yeah. But no, nah, like I'm not. I like. I'm, I don't hurt anyone. Mm. I explain my past, and I'm just an honest man. And I'll yep. tell people like it is. I do a good job at my work. My social great job, life, just a great job yeah, for everyone I'm an listening. Absolute yeah. weapon of a physio. You are <laughs> like we we both send clients to you, and you are. Yeah. You treated Thanks. me exactly. It's great. I, I just treat his glutes. That's all I do. Just, yeah, you just I, come I in, like come touch in. him. Yeah, and touch a little bum flap little on bum your way. Slap. Yep, there we go. Fixed. <laughs> I'm a physio. It's okay. Though. Yeah, <laughs> you're a little one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed. <laughs> I have a license to slap your bum. <laughs> It's the only um, reason I did it. It's called rehab. Yeah, six years of yeah, yeah. It's called rehab. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do worry about that sometimes, and it is a bit of like a... But like, I, I think it makes you a better physio because you're more honest about who you are. Yeah, well, that's it. Mm. And especially with his haircut and tattoos and piercings and stuff sick. like that. You're not trying to pretend to be someone else. Yeah. So that's the, like, people will like, put on a suit or whatever, they smile at you all day and then they go home and they're an absolute dick of a person or abuse their missus or something mm. but then like they're the good person because they act like they're a good person during the day and that just annoys me mm. but then like they put on like a pedestal but then mm. someone like me who just comes out and just tells her how it is mm. I'm a bad person or I can't be a physio because of what I say or what I've done in the past which is just absolutely stupid and I think as a society it's very like that mm. 100% it's, it's all pretend it's but I, I, again I think it comes from the individual like I look yeah. at you I'm like I'm going to trust that guy more because he's not trying to pretend to be something someone, yeah like I, good. I you know I look at someone who's wearing a suit and tie and then he tells me like I went to an orthopedic surgeon recently for my yeah. hip and this dude was the maddest dude ever like yeah. he literally rolled in he had like chinos on yeah. like looking fresh as fuck I was like my boy. I like that guy, yeah. Yeah, like, that's my yeah. boy. But if he came in in a suit and tie with, like, a white coat or whatever and tried to talk to me, I'm like... <laughs> Stethoscope around the neck. Yeah, I'm just like... Just swinging it. Come on, man, you're here to, like, fucking do my hip. You ain't going to take my heartbeat. Like, yeah, what, yeah. What's yeah. going on here? But you, you know, hit the nail on the head. I just mm. think there's... If you, you know, you're not a bad person mm. because you look a certain way or you fucking have done, you know, not made the best choices in the past. Fucking who hasn't? Yeah, exactly. If you fucking think you're above anyone else, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Well, I started like, getting really yeah. triggered then. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, lucky this is the podcast and I own the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Own the rights. <sighs> Do what you want. Do what you yeah, want. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, it, it literally grinds my gears. Yeah, I'm the same. It's like, why would you go to these people who, you know, they're, they're clearly trying to 
be the person they think they need to be instead of just being this person yeah. that they are. Like, I can relate to you. I can talk to you. Yeah. I don't feel like I can chat about what I did on the weekend with half the fucking people. Yeah, exactly. And but that's that, what I want to do. Yeah. Exactly. Because that's how you get to know someone. And Otherwise, you don't know anyone. And that's what builds trust in exactly. you know, a client relationship and yeah. like, makes me want to go, oh, cool, I can send a client to Aaron. Yeah. I know they'll be looked after. Not because you, don't, not because you just give good treatment, mm. but because I know a person will feel comfortable with you. Yeah. So a little tangent for the day for this podcast. You're all welcome. Right. <laughs> Someone Rant dropped over. the mic. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever drop the mic when you rap? Nah, I'm too scared of breaking it. Yeah, fair play. Well, expensive. expensive. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe when I get bigger and I got money, I can just be like, boom. I drop yeah. a gold mic. Ooh. Damn, son. Just, just for fun. <clears throat> just because you can. Just because I can. Because I'm above yeah. ground. Because you're above <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Not oh, quite. you're both off the podcast. Working towards the moon. <laughs> exactly. You're off both of you. <laughs> I can't deal with this This wedding is horseshit It's a stepbrothers reference For anyone who's listening And doesn't get that I love stepbrothers So where, where do we Where do we find What sort of music Do you have on Spotify Like have you got some albums Out there Got a couple uh, EPs I'm just yeah. doing singles I'm trying to release A song a month this year Oh cool So I've been punching it Yep. Um, so that yeah, means you're going, going Somewhere recording it I do all my recordings at home Oh cool I just <laughs> Board up my bedroom My neighbours probably hate me Sorry But <laughs> I, I, try, I try to cut it off early. Like, I do it during the day. Like, every Monday yeah. I record. Yeah, nice. So I just, yeah, yell into a mic for, like, eight hours. It's why wow. my voice always sounds husky. So I'm just yelling constantly. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I thought you and just then you're like, editing and... Nah, just because I'm always screaming. Yeah. And with lack of understanding, you're editing and producing it, all of that yourself. I do all that, but I get mixed and mastered yep. by a sound engineer. Because yes. I don't have those skills. Yep, yep. And I'm not good at it. I buy the beats as well. We used to make our own beats, but now I just don't have time or yep. skill set for it. So yep. I buy, like I listen to a beat, I go, yeah, that's cool, I'll buy it, record over it, do all the producing, then send it to the sound engineer. Imagine if you knew a guy who knew how to um, beatbox, you could like do something with. Yeah. A collab. Jams. <laughs> Jamming. Collab in the, in the mix. No, seriously, you need to do that. That's sick. Yeah, that beatboxing was on fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for those know. listening, we are clearly talking about Jason, our videographer. Yeah. He's yeah. got some skills. He's got some skills. Fucking oath he does. Weaponitis. I'd- what? Weaponitis. Mm. It's a hey, thing. You didn't know that? You never heard of it. Weaponitis? Yeah, weaponitis. He's right. under 30, he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did, have you guys heard that? No. no. Yeah, okay, so it must be an over 30, 30 thing. Yeah. <laughs> must be above ground, under yeah, so over 30 thing. When, once you get to 30, it's just weaponitis, bro. Everything you do, it's confidence. Confidence is confidence. <laughs> Weaponitis is something I've not come across yet. How long are you planning to keep up a, a song a month for? Oh, this year? Yeah. And then, I don't know, I'll probably do a couple more years. If it doesn't take off, yep. I'll, I'll probably just drop it. Yeah. Because it's a lot of work yeah, would um, behind the scenes. So it's an everyday thing. Yep. And also, your social life dies because of it. So it's like, yeah. So I'll do a couple more years, and I'll probably won't be able to handle it anymore. And it's like, all right, I want my life back. You'll be above the ground. Yeah, unless, unless it blows up, then I'm flying away. <laughs> Give me that jet and that money. I'm taking it. You know, private jet. Yeah, I would love one. Yeah, I mean, so would I, but... Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm jet. aiming for. I mean, we need jet money. That's mm. the kind of money we need. Jet yeah, money. exactly. <laughs> we need to blow up. I had a client yesterday, completely digressing off topic. Mm. But he's just like, yeah, we're going away for the weekend. We're going to hire a helicopter. And I'm like, bomb. How fucking rich are you? Yeah, what? Yeah, I know. It's like renting a car, I guess. No. Nope. a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, well, I have had a client get an Uber helicopter in Dubai. What? Yeah. That's, is that a thing? That's a thing over in Dubai. Damn. Got to get from A to B. A to B. <laughs> Flying high. Do you, know, do you know how much it costs? A shit ton. Shit this ton. guy who got in Dubai is like a billionaire, though. Oh. He, um... Does he need a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> just asking for a mate. Yeah. I'll fold his hand towels, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I, like, drank coffee and then laughed at the same time. That was weird. Oh, that is the funniest thing. Uh, no, he's married. Oh, fuck. They always to are. A, to, <laughs> doesn't, mean he doesn't need a boyfriend. Yeah. I can be a side. I'll be a side. A billion billion dollars a billion dollars. No, he's multi billion dollars. Oh, well, that's fine. Exactly. That's enough. Yeah. I mean it's just getting a bit much when you go multi, isn't it? It's just a Yeah, no, it's like, oh come on. Yeah, come on now. Do you really need another Ferrari? Yeah. Oh. 
Fuck. Red. Where do you go in his helicopter? Yeah. He had to go from a meeting to a met another meeting. No, no, you client. Where's he go? Where do you hire a helicopter? Where's he going? Uh, out at Warwick, some like big resort. It's a long way. Oh, spices, probably. Yeah. From here to Warwick and helicopter. No, no, no. Like he's they're driving out to Warwick, staying in this resort, but yeah. then hiring a helicopter out there. I think. Yeah. Damn. One he day. also listens to the podcast, so shout out. You know who you are. I love yeah. you. <laughs> I love you too. We love you. <laughs> Aaron's looking for a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Billy in our life. <laughs> Oh, mate, you are, you are very special so, human. Coming back to your, your song a month. We do um, like to digress where, on this podcast. Do you find it hard to look for inspiration for words or what to think about um, when you're trying to put out so much content? Or It is hard, got... but I don't know. Like I, just, I just listen to beats and I just freestyle a lot of my stuff. So I'll just have a beat on and I just start freestyling. I'm like, oh, that's where I'm going to go with that topic. Yeah. It'll just be like an idea and I'll just do that. Yep. Um, yeah, if I just feel like not creative, I just yeah. get drunk. And that usually works. That brings it home. Oh, it's a rapper's dream. <laughs> Tangerang chronic and I'm getting on the mic. Yeah. It just flows, doesn't it? <laughs> You're my favourite human being. You're an artist, but it you does, can do it whatever does. you want. Yeah, exactly. So, like, do you, sorry, you pick a topic. Yeah. And then... You, Stick to that topic. And you just get it, hit a beat. Yeah, hit the beat and I'll just freestyle lyrics. I'm like, oh, yeah, that'll work. And then you record it or whatever. Yes. One of our most popular songs, Dirty Man, because I am one dirty man. I worked on it for like the two, three months. Dirtiest? It, oh, it's, yeah. oh, I've got a song coming out called The Filth. That's, that's getting pretty dirty. It's going to be out soon. It's about uh, recent experiences with strippers and single mothers. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> that's excellent. When's that come out? Uh, maybe three or four weeks. Ooh, I look forward Once to get it back. But yeah, it's yep. a banger. <laughs> Is that a pun? It's a banger? Literally, yeah. Um, I get around a bit because I'm living that single life. So I've just been rapping about it lately. That's unreal. Mm. <laughs> I've got no words. You have like... you ever had any formal training in it or is it all... Just me. Yes, yeah, sweet. Just That's wing it. Great. Just wing things. So if we gave you a topic and a beat right now, you'd just freestyle it. I can give it a go. Jason, get up What's on this the topic? mic. Deadlifts. Deadlift. Oh, all right. I'll lean back. Jason, get on here. Yeah. You you got to give the beat. So topics deadlift. Deadlifts. I yeah. don't know how, where you could go with that. You can I don't pick know. Them all. You can go <laughs> anywhere. Would you, would you like a different topic? <clears throat> we'll, we'll go this one. Squat okay, suit. we'll go this one. <laughs> uh, Squat suit. <laughs> uh, do I need to do anything? I think you need to hold Jason's hand. Do you want me to just like twist it? Okay. You're not allowed to touch it. I'll sit back. Oh, Here we go. Okay. So mm. what tempo? Same thing. Same thing. All right. Ready? Go. Uh. Hey, yeah, hey. A deadlift with a pound of piff. I'm coming up, lift, like swift. One, two, three, rep, four. Hundred kilos on the motherfucking door. Run a bar to pound. Getting then the dog down. One, two, now I'm coming on the bar down. I'm a lifted up pause. Now I bring it back down, claws. I didn't know, but I'm lifting like Santa. Squat suit, man, going like the Manta. I didn't know, call me Viper, bitch. Lift couple hundred, what a bitch. Like, that was really cool. Oh, oh. Like, that's... <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. That's fucking sick. <laughs> I'm very untalented, I've just realized. <laughs> yeah. It's years and years of practice. Like, no, 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 like, no, no, yeah. no, no. I'm very untalented. That's, <laughs> if anything I've learned from this podcast today is You're that... a talented coach. You're good at what you do. Yeah. yeah. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you too. <laughs> wow. That was freaking sick. Like, I don't know. I've just never witnessed that sort of, like, in, uh, that was cool. Yeah. I'm like, actually, Thanks. that was dope. Mm. Can we give him another topic? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, serious. I'm, uh, uh, it's, what's something you I don't know, man. Freestyling has just happens. Like, like I said, you can't keep up with your own brain. So when you're freestyling, spitting lyrics off the top, it's just whatever comes. Do you, That's why you I say know, I'm not responsible for the shit I so say. You don't even know what's coming out, essentially. Yeah, half the time. You're just trying to link words and you're trying to explain things in your brain and keep yeah. a flow. So sometimes you can offend people or whatever because you're like, oh, I didn't mean what I actually just said. It was a joke, but I'm yeah. rapping. So you've got to keep it, kind of just pause. You've just got to keep it going. Is, is, um, is rap battle a thing? Have you ever done that? Never done a rap battle. Would you? I'll give it a go. I don't know if I'd be any good. I'm not a battle rapper, but probably end up in a punch on. Yeah. But hey, 
<laughs> Lucky you're a boxer. Lucky out. Yeah, if the words don't work, we can go fisties. Yeah, we'll just a little slip one too. <laughs> oh, man. Fight like I'm Mike. Okay, so we'll give you another topic of boxing. All right. Jason, back in. All right. This, you... like, I feel like this is something he knows really good, though. I'm sorry, this is just really cool. This is definitely for me, everyone listening, more than it is for you mm. guys right now. Same tempo? Yeah, do it. So you just hold a flow too. Uh. Yeah. I fight like I ain't Mike in the fist, my fight night. One, two, gonna get you knocked out. Now you're sitting on the mat, covered in blood now, eh? Uh. I'm a spit it, I'm a win it, I'm a flurry like Mayweather. I'm gonna finish it. Don't start fights, but I finish him. One, two, knocked out on the land, then I'ma wrap you up. I'ma bleed you out. Grab a knife, shit, I'ma shout. Uh. Nice. <laughs> wow. That's unreal. Yeah, that's mm. so. Wow. How about that's... you give it a go? <laughs> uh, I'm I'm very good at uh, lifting. Lifting. And very good at coaching lifters, <laughs> rapping. <laughs> no, nah. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to. I would love to hear it sometime. Maybe in a private show for Pri- you. Private show after a steak dinner. Oh, <laughs> you It'll have be a my private heart. Show. Private show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is a good private show. G banger. Is Iron Mike fighting? This can go off topic a bit, but I, th- I, I heard like I read was, something today. Not. Have you seen him train recently? I saw yeah. something. Said what September. a weapon! Holy, fuck. how old is he now? Four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 53, yeah. 55. He's in his 50s, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm. I would not want to be punched by that. Mate, I, re- I reckon he would jab me and I would die. Yeah. I would, I'd fly across the ring, I reckon. But, like, wasn't it only 12 months ago? He looked like absolute shit. Mm. Mm. And then he's just, like, now Yeah. He's in a condition. genetic freak. He's an absolute beast. That's ridiculous. Yeah, he looks like a fucking weapon. Yeah, I'd he's, like he's not that. very tall either. Nah. But he's, like, what? He used to fight, like, 98 kilos or something? Yeah, really? He's a, he's a heavy yeah, guy. he's a heavy he guy, but he's he's not that tall. I think that's where he gets his power from. He's just so like his weights are so centered. Far out. Yeah, he fuck. They look nasty. I wouldn't. Yeah, not even one jab. <laughs> not even one. I, I reckon my <laughs> neck would displace. Like it'd just be like boom. <laughs> would need some serious treatment after that. So, yeah, yeah, maybe it'd fix my neck. So unwhiplash me. <laughs> just by hitting you the other way. Yeah, yeah hit me the other way. Wow. Uh, How many fights did you end up doing? I didn't end up fighting. You didn't end up, yeah. No, nah, but I sparred. I sparred for maybe four or five years, like yeah. two, three times a week. Loved it. Oh yeah, it gets takes its toll. Mm. My nose is stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like the concussions and stuff like that. You get a bit, you get a bit doughy. <laughs> yeah, I just got got a bit old. I was like, I can't maybe that's this why the studying was so hard. Probably. <laughs> All the concussions. Also, ADHD doesn't help studying. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's true as well. One would say it's hard to concentrate. What's that? It could be hard to concentrate. Oh, yeah. It's highly medicated. Uh, overly dedicated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boom. Oh, shit. It's a big pun. That was. All right. All well, right. Are you ready for this? What are we doing? Ten questions. All right. They're coming at you. Quick right. and fast. All right. It's a, Hit me. It's the first thing that comes into the head. Oh, shit. Kind of scenario here. Oh, we're so Poly- fucked. This is going to be You can say deleted. whatever you want. Mm. Apologies um, in advance. Are you ready? Yeah. Biggest lesson you've learned? Strippers. If you could live underwater, would you? No. What's your biggest challenge? SpongeBob SquarePants. Is cereal a soup? If it is, why is it? And if it's not, why not? Cereal a soup? No, it's not a soup. Why? Because a killer. Because a killer. Yep. What? Uh, cereal killers. Yep. Got it. Oh. Uh, no. What conspiracy theory do you think is real? The Zeitgeist. What's his nine eleven? Zeitgeist. Ooh. Oh, cool. Twin Towers. What's one of your rules? Don't be a dick. Would you or have you joined a cult? <laughs> Never, but I'm open. <laughs> I'm open. <laughs> How many chickens would it take to kill a big elephant? Seven. Yep. If your life was a video game, what cheat code would you be interested in having? Uh, GTA. As many cars as I wanted. Oh, yeah. Now, you've just been arrested. Standard. Um, what, is your, <laughs> what does your family think it was for? <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> Lovely. I That's feel it. like that is the very... 
I was like, maybe it's the third thing that came to his head then, fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Strippers. I don't, I, don't, I don't have the best history with the police, let's face it. I, I love the, the first answer, Strippers, and I didn't even... What was the first question? Uh, let me just check. The biggest lesson he's learned. Strippers. Mm. Okay, we'll leave that one there. Aaron, <laughs> where can people find you on the socials? Somni on Instagram, S-O-M-N-I-E. Give me a little hit up. Or you can find me hanging out at Start Training, mm -hmm. doing my physio stuff. Um, on the Facebook page, just Start Training. Find me on there. Sick. Spotify? Spotify, Somni. Somni as well. Sweet. Somni, yeah. Sick. Apple Music, all that type of stuff, Somni. Easy, I'll throw that up in the show notes. Oh, do it. No, I just said I would. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, he will, yeah. Thank you. No, it won't be a problem. It's oh. fine. Boom. He's got oh, you. You're the best. <laughs> um, we will, this will go up, well, I don't know, if I can couple, couple of weeks, whatever. But thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thanks for having me. No, it's been, it's definitely been a pleasure for us. <laughs> you're a one talented motherfucking dude. And we will, we'll have to get you back on. Once, Done. Anytime. Once you start performing again and get above ground. Hopefully. You'll be you above say? ground now after this. So yeah, maybe. You, yeah, maybe I'm going to... What did you just say? Hopefully. Oh, you said hope flow? Oh, that's a new thing. Is new it? lyric. I don't know. We'll just make it a thing. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You Dope flow. It's dope flow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will leave it there. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>